guys. It is Monday meal night video time again. Um, but it's actually not Monday. It's Tuesday. And we are watching the Baseball World Classic. Um, so that's on in the background, just FYI. But um, we're going to make something really fun and easy. Not very quick because it does. it is a crock pot kind of thing and it does take a little bit of extra time but we're gonna make lazy chicken and dumplings um and i'm very excited to share it with you my co-worker actually asked for this um we're doing like a potluck tomorrow at work and they wanted chicken and dumplings so i'm making chicken and dumplings um the boys have actually been with bubbles all day they went and had a pancake dinner so jamie and i are the only two that really need to eat we might sneak a bowl out of this um, but the rest of it's going in the crock pot and we're going to have some yummy chicken and dumplings at work tomorrow. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> I started with about three pounds of chicken, um, just a pack of chicken breast. Um, I put it in my, wa my water and I'm going to get it to a bowl and I'm going to let it boil for a while until it's nice and tender and I can shred it with a fork. And then I'm gonna pull it out and shred it. And um, I also have some salt in the water, a little bit of salt in the water. And I actually did put a bouillon cube in there just to give it a little extra flavor, but the chicken makes it broth as well. Um, but we hold on to that broth after you get done boiling the chicken because we will use it in our soup. But I'll bring you back when we get to um, really seeing the water boil and where, when the process gets to move and I mean because really we don't want to sit here and watch a pot boil because it never does right so that this is gonna take this is gonna be the longest thing um, and then really you're just putting it in the crock pot to keep um, to keep for the next day so and it'll continue we'll put it on warm or low or whatever we might even put it in the refrigerator and not put it in the crock pot till tomorrow because we won't be eating it till lunch tomorrow anyways so, um, I'm excited. I hope everybody enjoys it at work. Um, I've made it before for all of, like, we did just a chicken and dumplings dinner, and I, what, I, I made it for them, and I had, like, four or five crock pot full of this. I'm not doing that magnitude because now this time everybody's bringing something. Um, so I know that they like my chicken and dumplings because they all got gone. All four, all four or five of those crock pots got gone um, and so that's why they've been asking for it again um, but everybody's bringing something so I'm not gonna make quite as much I'm probably just gonna make one crock pot this time and um, go from there but yeah I'm excited all right guys I got that chicken bowling um, I'm gonna leave it like this for a good long while I don't really know exact I don't I don't set a timer just to when it feels like I can shred it um, pretty good I'll pull it out and shred it but I'm just checking every few minutes or so but it's um, it's starting to smell really good in here. All right, so I got a few pieces of chicken out just to see if it would shred up nice. You don't want it too fine, but you want it to pull apart. You don't want to shred it, oh, like super fine. But yeah, this is kind of coming apart pretty good. Um, I just take two forks and pull it apart, and I will go ahead and I will do all the chicken and then I'll put it back in there and we'll add the next ingredients so yeah it's shredding up pretty good I'm just being um, slow with it just because I'm trying to trying to keep it on the plate so Mocha don't get a bite of it over here she's foraging on the floor to see if I drop anything all right I'll bring you back in just a minute I have let me get it focusing on the chicken and not mocha um, I have shredded up the chicken um, they're not it's not super fun um, there's some bigger chunks in here you just want a good bite of chicken with your soup um, you don't want just like little shreds of it but you also don't want like something that's hard 
to get a mouthful of. So um, I might even go in here and make it a little finer later. But I wanted to bring you over to um, the stock pot and get you, um, well, it's not really a stock pot, but it's where, where our broth is um, and let you see how I fix the soup part of this. <clears throat> All right. So right now we've got the water that the chicken boiled in. It had just salt, a bouillon cube, a chicken bouillon cube, and then just chicken that I boiled. Um, so I've just left it on to boil and I'm gonna add some soup. All right guys, I'm gonna add some cream of chicken. I got about three cans of cream of chicken um, and then I might also add some chicken gravy to it. So it's gonna be real good. Um, let me get these open and I will pour them in there. never use my hands to open these pop tops. I have to use the spoon. I don't know why. It's like a, a thing for me. Like I do not like opening these cans. You want to go ahead and get them open for me, babe? Yes, because I can use my fingers to open them. <laughs> he's making fun of me. Ooh. But he's all taking an awful long time. dump these in okay I definitely open that faster Jamie excuse me <laughs> excuse you I don't know this just makes it thick and rich and all the good stuff that chicken and dumpling that you want your chicken and dumplings to be Yeah, Mocha, you can't have this. This is, this is good stuff. Mocha can't have good stuff. Well, she can, but she can't have my good stuff. I love her, but I don't share my chicken and dumplings with anybody. If y'all hear little boys in the background, they're playing, running around. All right, you can just try to get as clean as you can. If you want to rinse some more water out, that's fine. We can do that too. Um, I probably will. We'll add some of this chicken gravy. So, let me get a different spoon. That's good for cleaning out uh, cans, but it's not really good for stirring. Be careful. I need a bigger pot, like a like one, like a stock pot would be good. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna let this kind of cook, and then I'm gonna put the chicken back in it, and then I'm gonna do our dumplings. Our dumplings are super easy, but this is a good base for your soup. Y'all, it's already smelling so good, and um, the dumplings aren't even in here yet, but I got the chicken in, and the soups are kind of melding together, and the gravy's dissolving really good, and it's getting a little thicker. Um, it'll get thicker as it cooks, too, so don't worry too much about that, but um, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat some of this. Yummy. Okay. I don't know why I didn't do this. I knew this. I've known this trick forever. I just didn't do it this time. I just poured the gravy right in. But if you put the gravy, if you take your packet and put... Boys, I'm trying to talk, please. Um, if you put the gravy in your can and then put a little bit of water and mix the gravy in the can before you pour it in the soup, it just dissolves better. But no biggie. We're just... It's going to... It's going to dissolve. It'll be all right. Um, but... I did know that. I don't know why I didn't do that. In a hurry, I guess. Okay, guys. It's boiling. It's starting to thick up. Thicken it. Oh. Thicken up. And um, I'm going to make dumplings. Get you a can of the jumbo biscuits. 
And we're going to make these the easy way. You want your water boiling like this. And we're going to just pinch and drop the, the dumplings in. And then I'm going to throw it in the crock pot. All of it together in the crock pot. And we're going to cook it on low all night long. And it's going to be ready to go. All right. I've got just the dough right here. And I'm just going to pinch. And I'm going to drop. Y'all, you can do this from start to finish in the crock pot. I just am trying to expedite the process. Expedite. Expedite, not expedite. Expedite the process because I want some tonight. I want to eat a little bit of this tonight. And I'll probably add some more dumplings in the morning. Um, so it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's literally just pinch and drop. Just drop dumplings. Lazy not lazy busy mama that's i like that better than lazy because i'm not lazy i just am when it comes to cooking so <laughs> uh, busy mama dumplings not lazy mama and my boys like the fat dumplings some people like the um the thin dumplings my brother likes the thin dumplings when my mama makes that i prefer these i think they taste I, I just like the texture of them. They give. I just. I just like these. I prefer these, even over her homemade, um, flat rolled out ones. I prefer these. Sometimes the easiest way is the best way. Sometimes not. You can do either or, but this is good. When you worked a long day and you're just about done. I like to read at night, so I'm gonna probably, I just finished a book. Um, I'm gonna probably start another one soon. And you just wanna push it down there, make sure they're getting all that. Um, gravy and soup and I'm going to let it boil for a little bit it's kind of, I'm going to turn the heat back up um and then I'm going to throw it in the crock pot I'm going to get me a bowl out and throw it in the crock pot can't wait oh if you could just smell through the camera huh, smells so good